Today I thought we would look at composing in the uneven time signature of 7-8. It's a great skill to have, particularly if you're looking to compose in a modern style. These time signatures tend to draw the listener's attention to the pulse and rhythm and can often make your music energetic and exciting to listen to. Each year I have students compose in 5-8, 7-8, 9-8 and sometimes even 11-8. And for that matter, I'm always surprised how many fail to establish the captivating pulse that these time signatures offer. They tend to fill up the bars with little to no thought about the beat, and instead of creating a vibrant theme, their music can sometimes be a little directionless, and even worse, dull. So let's get started with our example. Today I've chosen 7-8, and before we even think about writing notes, we need to establish where the pulses lie. It doesn't really matter how exotic we are with our time signature choice. If we're dealing with a quaver pulse, each beat has either two quavers or three quavers. That's it. We really do not have any other options. So in the case of 7-8, there will be three main beats. Two beats containing two quavers and one with three quavers. Now you can arrange these beats in any order you like, but for today's exercise, I'm going to put the two two quaver beats at the front of the bar and the three quaver beat at the end. Our beats will look like this. Now rather than just plowing into our melody, I'm going to do something you might think a little unusual. We've established that 7-8 has three main beats, and to begin our process, I'm going to even out the beats and compose a simple tune in 3-4 time. Are you with me? We'll get to 7-8, but first I'm going to create a draft in 3-4 time. And it will be very simple. I mentioned early that uneven time signatures draw the listener's attention to the pulse and the rhythm. So I'm going to be quite conservative with my pitch selection so that I don't take away from the excitement and energy the time signature will create. So here we go. I'm starting to create a simple melody in 3-4 time. I am happy with the key of C major and beat 1, I add a crotchet. Beat 2, I add another crotchet. I told you it was going to be simple. And beat 3, well I'm just going to break that up into two quavers. Now here is an important tip. We've established a rhythmic pattern. Don't play around with it. Just repeat it over and over. We need to allow the time signature to create its own excitement. So I move on to bar 2 and use exactly the same rhythm. Same again in bar 3 and the process continues until we reach bar 8. It sounds like this. As you can see and hear, I have used a limited pitch range and a very simple rhythm. But now for the fun part. It's time to convert this rather simplistic melody into an exciting explosion of rhythm in the time signature of 7-8. And it's so easy. I keep beats 1 and 2 exactly the same in the new time signature. And in beat 3, well, I just replace the two quavers with a crotchet followed by a quaver. It's a simple way of establishing the compound pulse of beat 3. And I just continue on until I reach bar 8. In bar 8, just to add some variety, there are four notes in the original 3-4 draft, 
So I'm going to change the time signature to 4-4, four four, just for bar 8, and sound my four notes as crotchets. That leads very nicely to the tonic C. Let's hear how our melody sounds now. This really is a very effective compositional technique and quite easy to master with a bit of practice. Following this process will certainly start you on your way to being a composer skilled in the use of uneven time signatures. So to recap the process, number one, choose a time signature with uneven beats and then determine exactly where you want your two quaver beats and three quaver beats to lie. Remember, it does not matter how experimental you are with your time signature selection. Each beat will consist of either two or three smaller components, quavers in this case. And number two, even out the beats and compose a simple melodic draft with an even crotchet pulse. As you become more confident, you may wish to skip this step, but for the time being, use it. It will help to establish the pulse, and also, you'll be less likely to make mistakes. Number three, and finally, expand the simple draft into your chosen uneven time signature. If you have done the previous steps correctly, this will be easy to do and very satisfying as you see your simplistic melodic draft become an exciting melody in an exotic time signature.